I mean, we're just a few days away from what could be the defining fight of your career. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel like I'm in great shape. Uh, I feel ready. Uh, probably the biggest fight of my career, uh, in my opinion. Fighting someone who's my own weight. I can't really class the Canelo fight. Uh, I will fight because I, I, looking back at it now, I was giving a lot of weight away. Uh, but this is a fight which can definitely uh, get me on the pound pound rankings, make me one of the best fighters I want to be, and also then uh, win a world title again. So I'm focused, I'm ready, and I'm going to work very hard for this. It's been an ongoing rivalry for a while now, whether Crawford or Lomachenko is the best fighter in the world. How do you see it? It's hard to say. You know, Crawford's up there, Lomachenko's up there. They're all great fighters, so it's hard to, it's hard to pick. Do you think last week, with Lomachenko being as impressive as he was, has made this weekend more dangerous for you because Crawford might want to respond and show that he's actually better still? Yeah, I mean, I think Crawford might want to show something. And I think by showing that too much, he might make mistakes. Can I ask how happy you are now being back in camp with Virgil Hunter as well? I'm very happy to be with Virgil. You know, it's great to be back in camp with Virgil. And um, we, um, we work very hard. He's uh, back healthy. And I'm, going, I'm, back at, I'm back doing what I love doing, you know, training hard, being pushed. And um, he's, he's arranged everything, took a lot of pressure off me, arranged all the sparring partners and everything. So it's been a really, really good camp and a, and a, and a positive one. Do you think working with Virgil is it actually the trainer who's brought out the best in you? Definitely. Previous? I mean, look at my last performances. Uh, my last performance wasn't maybe the best, but look, you know, a change of trainer does that. No disrespect to Joe Goosen, he's an amazing coach. I think uh, sometimes uh, when you change a trainer and obviously change your style a little bit, it's a bit too soon to kind of you know, have a good performance. I think with Virgil, he's been with me for a very long time, over six years, so I think he brings the best at me by far. What is it about Virgil and you that, that work so well together? We, I trust in him and I respect him. And I think the trust come, and, and, and all the skills come from that respect and listening to him and not making mistakes and, and trusting him, really. And you mentioned before the Alvarez fight that you actually had to persuade him to let you take the Alvarez fight. Has he been like that with this or has he been a lot more confident in your prospects? He's been a lot more confident. He's been a lot more confident. He's been a lot more uh, calmer. He knows that it's my own weight. I'm not going to be giving that weight away. So he knows I'm ready. I've proven myself in training as well. There's not been a day where I've not trained hard. So he knows how hard I've trained. And is there any chance, I mean, that this could be your last fight? I mean, if you win, there's be no better way of bowing out, would there? I mean, look, you know, no, no. I mean, I'm still got a lot left in me. You know, I still got a few fights left in me. Uh, I love the sport. I love all this hype. I mean, it's so hard to not have all this hype that I've, I've got. You know, and also enjoying every minute, minute of this. I'm gonna miss the sport if I leave too early. I'm gonna leave at the right time when I think it's right.